We don't mind knowing your age. Mind. All right, okay. <laughs> and, uh, escape. <laughs> and escape, exactly. Yeah. My name is Hadija. Um, I grew up in Vero Beach, Florida, born and raised in Vero Beach, Florida. My father is um, from American Indian mother and Irish father. My mother is German, um, French Canadian, and Greek. But I was mainly raised by my mother and my grandmother did have a part of always taking me to church when I was small. So she would come and if we didn't want to go to church, we were told that the devil's got you now. And we were threatened and you know, oh, you're, you're you know, we were like put down, like you're so bad if you don't want to go to church. So eventually, you know, we started going, we do the whole um, summer camp or vacation Bible school, they called it. And, and then even at 15, when I was questioning my religion, I actually took a Bible study course where I was the youngest one there. They were all elderly people, mostly retired already. Uh, they always wanted me to come sit next to them, like the, you know, little ladies, tell me, come sit, come sit. But my main thing about Christianity was, uh, I was told even by the pastor that I asked too many questions. And then at the age of 18, I actually met other American Muslims through some Arab friends that I met. And they told me they were religious uh, Muslims. And they told me, yeah, you can be a Muslim. And they, little by little, I learned about the religion. I felt that the Muslims that I met, they were very welcoming. They never tried to, like, force me, you know. They would just tell me what I wanted to know. They would answer my questions, which I didn't get from the Bible study I took. So little by little, I, I decided that that would be the religion for me. I, you know, to be honest with you, I've, I've seen negative, I saw negative things in Islam, but then once I realized that the good things and the people that I knew that were Muslim, the good qualities that they had was from Islam, but whatever bad qualities they had, that was from the, um, you know, the work of the devil. That's what I believe. So it's like I, when I found Islam, I found it, you know, very calming and, and then just like I heard Quran. Even I, I found it very soothing. I liked it actually. To this day, <laughs> I, I rather listen to Quran than anything else. You know, to sit and listen. So it's very calming. And um, after Islam, I felt more confident. You know, I felt like um, I was my own person more or more or less, you know, that I could speak for myself and I could actually feel like I, I belonged to something, you know. As a, as a non-Muslim, I felt more or less, I was part of a family unit, but my family wasn't that together. You know, I had, my father was deceased at, when I was two, so I never really grew up with a father. Then my brothers and sister, I watched them because I was number eight. <laughs> so I watched them little by little go off and get married and leave the family. And coming to Islam, I had a new family, a new beginning. It was just like an overwhelming feeling of uh, relief and pleasure at the same time. It gave me like a, more of a direction. Where am I going in life? You know, what am I, where I'm going to, and also where I'm going to end. You know, so the most important thing to me is to uh, have somebody to worship and know that what I'm worshiping is the final religion of, of mankind. Hopefully uh, you'll accept Islam and if you do, I welcome you to the religion. Thank you.